Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I have an incredible amount of both Google Home and Google Assistant updates, new features and new products to go through with you this week. Let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that I'm gonna talk about this week is Google Home and Google Assistant integration with the Nest Yale Lock. Now, you might have expected that to work long ago, but it hasn't and it just does on August 29th for users around the world. So go ahead, if you have a Nest Yale Lock there in your home, go ahead, get that integrated, get it working. Of course, the unlock feature is not going to work with your voice assistant still. You can lock the device and what's very interesting to me is you can include that in your routines. I think for the most part people have heard of the Swan cameras. There is now a set of Swan cameras out on the market that has Google Assistant capability. So these are the newest 4K cameras and the only 4K cameras actually as far as I'm concerned with the capability of having Google Assistant integration. What you'll need is either a Google Home and a Google Chromecast or a device with Google Assistant on it and again Google Chromecast so casting capability to go ahead and see either a live feed or a recorded feed if you'd like. Now here is where I start to talk about Google Assistant and all of the things it's being added to and this is a wild list this week. Now we all knew that the Chromebooks they were supposed to be getting Google Assistant capabilities on many of the more recent models. We've seen that come out on some of the very the, the flagship models that Google has created, but we haven't seen them kind of walk back in terms of their deployment of the Google Assistant. This week, what we're starting to see is the addition in Chrome OS for a Google Assistant launch button. Now, it's not out there yet for all devices still, but we are seeing movement being made on that, pro on that side of progress for Chrome OS. So, Google Assistant being added to more Chromebooks in the near future. As we all know, the Google Home and the Google Assistant were launched in India this year, and Google has been working hard in this marketplace. I'm surprised that how hard and how fast they're going into this and getting different language support. So on that note, they now have the Marathi language support there available for those of you who speak that language. Now, this is part of their big plan of getting all of these localized languages and getting those all up with support on the Google Assistant and the Google Home device. So stay tuned for more there, there's more coming. Like I said, the Google Assistant is ending up everywhere here and Android Messages is a service that Google produced a while ago actually, but they're now integrating Google Assistant with that and it's interesting as you look at the screenshots that are starting to come out, this isn't a fully deployed functionality, but as the screenshots come out, you can see where the Google Assistant is essentially reading your messages, and some people might have concerns with that, but reading your messages and providing options for you to go ahead, use the Google Assistant, and drive the conversation in a different way. Another feature that we've seen being deployed here is the news feature. We know Google News got that big update very recently. One of the things that we talked about in our last Google Home and Google Assistant new features, new updates video is actually the integration of Google News along with your Google Home. So users in the United States and some other countries were able to get the news directly from their Google Home device. Now, what's happened this week is Google has started to talk about basically customizing or giving you options for that news. And one of the options that they're providing is just a good news service. Now that good news service you're going to be able to ask for with a simple keyword or command, which is just tell me something good. And it will start essentially what is your news briefing with only positive stories within it. So I think this is a, a really good thing personally. I'm kind of tired of reading negative things on the 
news or hearing about negative things, I like to hear the better side of news. Like I said, it's Google Assistant everywhere, and I think this is a little bit expected with the new Pixel 3. What we're actually seeing, some of the demos and some of what's being revealed by Google right now is actually showing the Google Assistant replacing the voice search capability on the new Pixel 3 and it looks like that could become a bit of a retroactive change in new versions of Android devices. Now again, this isn't ready for deployment but we're getting there on this one. The Google Assistant and even the Google app, so basically your account with Google is getting a new UI and this is for the settings page and what I'll say is the settings page has started to become quite large when we talk about devices like the Google Home, the Google Assistant and you know the other Google apps it's starting to get a little too big so Google is working on a redesign that I will say is more based on functional components of their different apps and services I personally like the look. It feels a little more personalized, a little more in tune with what I'm doing with the Google Home and, and Google Assistant and a number of the Google services that we talk about. But ultimately, it's looking a lot better to me. We gotta still wait for deployment. So I feel like I've been talking about Google Assistant for a while here, guys. So I'm gonna rip through some of the new devices. We're seeing a lot of new devices come because of the IFA conference going on in Berlin, Germany this year right away. Now, what we're seeing is from LG, we've seen a number of product lines. Now, we know the ThinQ TVs have the Google Assistant on board if you have a 2018 model. The 2017s will not be updated. That's the statement right now from LG. But if you're in a number of countries, Australia, Canada, France, Germany, South Korea, Spain, and the UK, and you speak some of those other languages other than English in those countries, you're going to get Google Assistant support here right away on your ThinQ TV. Now on top of that, we're seeing a device from LG called the Tone headphones. There's, there's a version called Tone Platinum SE. Those headphones will have Google Assistant on board. It's a touch button instead of the wake word to actually trigger on your Google Assistant. And the other devices that they're showing at the conference this year is called the X Boom series of speakers. Now, these are supposed to be, you know, big, loud, strong speakers. And what has happened is there's an AI or an X Boom AI device with the Google Assistant on board as well. We know Harman Kardon has produced a smart speaker in the past with Cortana on board, actually, and now they have Alexa integration, but what they haven't done is gone out and produced something specifically with Google until now. The Citation 500 is a $700 US speaker that is being unveiled here with Google Assistant on board. They have a couple different color options. It's a very soft looking speaker, and that's being revealed as well here right away. Bang & Olufsen or b &O, this is a pretty premier brand. They have a Bayo Sound uh, set of speakers. There's a Bayo Sound 1 and a Bayo Sound 2. They are $1,700 and $2,200 US respectively and so they are an incredibly pricey speaker but they are now getting Google Assistant on board. There's basically four control buttons up on top of these speakers that give you the opportunity to use Google Assistant in some different ways. Finally this week the JBL Link Bar. This was a device we heard about a long time ago actually back towards Google I.O. in this year. We heard about this device. We now have a ship date and a pre-order opportunity from JBL. It has the Google Assistant on board as well and it's around $400 US here. It'll ship in October, so you have the opportunity to go out and get that bar right now. It is getting some pretty positive reviews, and I will tell you that in general, these new devices, what I'm seeing, especially from the Lenovo Smart Display that I just picked up, they are incredible and they are working very well. These companies have done very well with the Google Assistant integration. What remains to be seen is how our Google Home app and our ability to cast and our ability to use these different services 
actually comes out with lots of these devices. So that's what I'll tell you is really important to pay attention to right now is what are you going to be able to cast? So there you have it everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.